International Radio Teams News in Tunisia. Hello, I'm Ghafran from Imam Sahnur Radio. This is the news of today. Coronavirus is testing its facts and the number of victims is getting bigger. Today, the number of death is 9,980 and the number of victims recalls 289,230. To stop this pandemic, the Ministry of Health is working hard to vaccinate more people. Head is in an interview with citizens at the vaccination center. Now we will move on to the news in Romania. Everyone, my name is Denise and welcome to our radio station called Radio Team. Today we'll talk about the latest news about SARS-CoV-2 tests carried out at national level against the latest COVID-19 pandemic in Europe and the national measures needed to combat the spread of the virus can cause significant disruption to education, training and mobility activities for students, teachers and educators in the European Union. According to reports, 4,942 cases of SARS-CoV-2 infected people were registered as being cases that had no previously had a positive test. The distribution by counties of the total and new cases can be found in the table below. There are various online and offline tools that can be used to, to connect educators and students when they are in different places, access information platforms that are not normally available at home or in the education institution, and to support the continuous professional development of educators in a flexible way. Hello everyone, my name is David and welcome to our radio station called Radio Team. Secondly, we will talk about the official measures against COVID-19 in Romania, uh, which are wearing a mask is mandatory in public spaces, indoor and, uh, indoors and outdoors. It is mandatory to keep a distance of 1.5 meters with other people. Indoor activities of restaurants, cafes, cinemas, etc. are currently not allowed in several cities. Shops are closed at 22. Movement outside is restricted between 22 o'clock and 6 o'clock. Finally, we will see the news in Portugal. In Portugal have been affected 840,000 people and died approximately 17,000. In Portugal, the opening of COVID-19 restrictions are based on a graphic. So we have to be under one RT and we also have to be under 120 cases per 100,000 inhabitants. The COVID restrictions have been lifted since the 15th of March and we went back to school on the 19th April. Older people and teachers have been vaccinated. 